bees have five eyes that give them unbelievable vision. I'll break down the colors they see that are invisible to us, why they see the world in slow motion, and also how bees can detect a flower's electric field. First though, let's talk about the wild anatomy of their eyes. Bees have two different types of eyes. They have two large compound eyes, which are made up of 9,000 tiny eyes called amatidia. Each of the amatidia has its own lens and cluster of photodetectors. The images from each of these are stitched together, forming a mosaic that lets bees see almost 300 degrees around them. In addition to these big compound eyes, bees have three smaller eyes in the middle of their head, called ocelli. These three eyes maintain the bees' stability and help them navigate. They triangulate the bees' position relative to the sun, helping them find their way back home after their adventures. Bees see wavelengths of light that are invisible to us, helping them better spot flowers that they can get nectar from. Like humans, bees are trichromatic, meaning that they have three different types of cones, or color-detecting cells, in their eyes. However, rather than just seeing the same visible colors as us, bees can see ultraviolet light that has shorter wavelengths than the light that we can see. Flowers look a lot different to bees than us, because special pigments on flowers absorb UV light. This creates vibrant patterns on the flowers that guide bees to the right plants that they can get nectar from. Weeds spread more successfully than many other plants, because while they may be ugly to us, they have UV patterns on them that make them really attractive to pollinators like bees. They can't see red though, so anything red would appear black or gray to bees. Putting red plants in your garden actually makes bees less likely to come there looking for nectar. The colors we can see that are most likely to catch bees' attention are purple and blue. In addition to seeing ultraviolet light, bees can see the polarization of light, which describes the orientation of light waves moving through the air. Sunlight moving through particles in the air creates certain polarization patterns that act like a bee GPS, guiding them and helping them create a mental map of their surroundings. Bees also see the world in slow motion by our standards. They can detect motion in as little as one three hundredth of a second, letting them notice individual flowers while flying at high speeds. They perceive the world five times faster than us, which also helps them better detect you trying to swat them and react super fast. As if all of this wasn't cool enough, Scientists from the University of Bristol discovered that bees can sense a flower's electric field. Bees build up positive electric charge as they fly through the air, kind of like if you run across a carpet in socks. Flowers have a slightly negative electric charge. Bees are able to tell if the charge of a flower is more positive, meaning that another bee has already beaten them to the flower and slurped up the tasty nectar. This difference in electric charge also makes pollen jump from flowers onto bees. Scientists aren't exactly sure how bees sense this electric field, but I imagine it's similar to how if you rub a balloon on your head, you can then feel the electric field as that balloon gets close to you. An estimated 80% of insect crop pollination is done by bees, making them super important for lots of ecosystems. Their great vision is one of their strongest tools for finding flowers with tasty nectar, and the pollen that gets stuck to them then gets taken on a journey, keeping the ecosystem healthy and buzzing along nicely.